moment of an object p is equal to mass small m into velocity v that is p equal to mv moment of an object there momentum momentum is equal to mass into velocity p equal to mv then force force f is equal to mass into acceleration m into a m is mass and a is acceleration then law of conservation of momentum the formula for law of conservation of momentum is m1 u1 plus m2 u2 is equal to m1 v1 plus m2 v2 here m1 and m2 are mass of the two two objects and u1 and u2 are the initial velocity of two objects and v1 and v2 are the final velocity of the two objects therefore law of conservation of momentum is equal to m1 u1 plus m2 u2 is equal to m1 v1 plus m2 v2 then moment of force is equal to magnitude of force into perpendicular distance that is f is into d moment of force is equal to f into d gravitational force f is equal to capital g m1 m2 divided by d square here g is the universal constant the value of g is 6.673 into 10 power minus 11 newton meter square kilogram per minus 2 m1 is the mass of one object and m2 is mass of other object d is the distance between the the two objects then weight w is equal to m into g m is the mass of an object and g is the gravity acceleration due to gravity g is equal to 9.8 meter per second square in this chapter we have to see lot of laws of motion and gravitation which can be explained by galileo and newton in our everyday life we observe that some effort is required to put a stationary object into motion or to stop a moving object normally we have to push or pull or hit an object to change its state of motion stationary object means a body in rest we have to apply a force to stage any object into motion or to stop a moving object normally we have to push or pull or hit an object to change its state of motion the concept of force is based on this push pull or hit no one has seen tasted or felt force however we always see or feel the effect of a force it can only be explained by describing what happens when a force is applied to an object push pull or hit may bring objects into motion because we make a force to act on them the concept of force is explained by the push pull or hit we cannot see or or tasted or felt the force but we can explain the force by describing what happens when a force is applied to an object push pull or hit may bring the objects into motion because we make a force to act on them therefore force is one which changes or tends to change the state of rest or of uniform motion of your body force is a vector quantity its si unit is newton the force can change uh, tends to change the state of rest if a body is in a is in a rest we have to change the the state of rest by applying force or of uniform motion of your body force is a vector quantity because it has a direction and a magnitude therefore force is a vector quantity its si unit is newton the scientist name newton meaning of your force here the first is the first which explains the kicking ball at rest the football player kick the ball the ball is at rest when he kick the ball the ball flown away the second one picture explains the stretching a rubber band if the rubber band before we stretch 
the rubber band is in original shape if you are stretching the by two sides the rubber band expands there is a force acts on it the third picture explain squeezing a rubber ball here we squeeze the rubber ball the position of the rubber ball can change the fourth picture explains stopping a ball the ball flown towards the football player and he stops the ball the ball motion and he stops the fifth picture explains the striking the coins on the carrom board striking the coin on the carrom board the carrom board coins at rest when we when we strike the coins the carrom board coins the split away here the push or pull applied bring support at a change in the state of rest or of uniform motion of, of an object shape or condition of an object speed of an object direction of an object direction of motion of an object the push which brings about a change in its state of rest or of motion is known as force we have this seen the before the pictures the state of rest or motion of an object and the shape and the condition of the object by squeezing the rubber ball then the stretching the rubber band speed of an object if the striking of your ball can we explain the speed of an object direction of motion of an object if we striking a carom coin the direction of the carom coin it changes the push yeah, which brings about a change in its state of rest or of motion is known as the force this is the meaning of force here a board wooden board is on the table the x axis and y axis explains the string if if we uh, if we uh, if we stretch the in you know, x axis the the board moves along x axis and if we stretches in the y axis the board moves along y axis the force applied in the x axis the board moves along x axis if a force applied along y axis the board moves along y axis 15.1 